Hello everybody, it's Hassan19, and today I want to bring to you how you can try to help your town out when it is on the verge of a rebellion. This is a town that I had just taken, and as you can see by the negative numbers, it's not in good shape at all. So the question here is, what can we do to fix this? Now, this is really not a terrible situation. Just looking at these numbers, this is not bad. The reason why it's not bad is twofold. First of all, there is a perk that is granting plus five security, or else right now I'd be negative one. Because the owner of this is also Sturgeon, I'm not getting a minus three penalty. So if those two things were in place, I would be getting a negative one into security and a negative five to loyalty. So what are the things that we can do to fix it? The first thing when it comes to any town is culture. That is your culture and the governor's culture. When you take any fee, if you are of the same culture as that fee, then there is no penalty or bonus to it. However, if you are not of the same culture, you will then get a minus three penalty to loyalty. That is very dramatic, and it is very tough to overcome when you're dealing with a city like this. That is where a governor can come into play. If you take a governor that is not of the same culture, what you will end up getting, which you have to exit out every time you do this, and come back in to see the updated numbers. As you can see, governor's culture minus one. However, if we stick a sturgeon as the governor, then all of a sudden we get a plus one. So having the right governor is vital to helping a town out. We are going to briefly touch on a secondary effect that directly affects loyalty, and that is security. Security has a direct factor into loyalty. From here, you could see security minus 1.99. So security will actually affect loyalty, where if you have over 50 security, you will start getting a plus to loyalty. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you can get that security up as quick as possible. So you want to look at the plus and minuses and figure it out. One of the things that you can do very easily to increase security is add in a garrison. Throw in some troops. As you could see in this, the garrison is a minus 0.54. However, if we go into the garrison and let's throw all of our troops in there. All 200 and some that we just had. And now we look at security. The garrison is giving us a plus 5.97. Seven. So that is one of the biggest things you can do to increase security. There's one more thing I want to touch on before I talk about the biggest issue, and that is perk. The 125 leadership perk gives plus five security in a town per day while you're waiting there. That is a huge bonus for when you get a town to help increase your security. The absolute worst thing that can happen to a town is for it to starve. Starving affects virtually everything in a town. So one thing I love to do if I know I'm going to get a town is I like to have a bunch of food on me. I will go into their, their shops and I will sell them my food. You could see we are minus 26 right now. 
What we have to do is wait till the next day. Now, as you can see, I gained plus 24 on the green. However, if you look at fish, I only gained 7. So we went from a minus 26 to only a minus 13. And I only gave them about 600 grain. That is why when I come into this situation, one of the first things I will do is I will dump 1,000 to 2,000 grain inside of my city. And that is to make sure that they do not starve. There is also projects that you can do to try to help this out. However, it takes time. This will add plus 10 to the production, which would go right here. Now, as you can see, we have fixed a little bit of the issue. We are only down to a minus 13. We have plus security and our loyalty is now going up. However, as I said before, if I was not Sturgeon, I would be losing three from this. I would still be at a negative three. If you look at the bottom, it says loyalty drift. This I need to give credit to some people on my channel for telling me about this. What that is, is that number goes up and down how high your loyalty is. So the higher your loyalty is, that number will actually give you a boost to your loyalty. So it is something that you want to try to increase as fast as possible. There is also something else you can do, and that is by running festival in game. As you can see, it will give a plus 0.37 to settlement loyalty. So we are trying to help it out once again. So what I would do in this situation again is I would get more food. And I would pump as much food as possible into this. Even at the cost of me losing money. Because you want to get this out of zero as fast as possible. And it can be extremely difficult to do when you are on the front line. That means all the armies are going to be coming to your city and taking all your food, causing your people to starve once again. For the most part, that is all you're going to be able to do to try to get your town out. But there is one little trick that a lot of people do not know do not pay attention to, and do not shoot for at the very beginning of the game. That is the 225 Charm Perk Parade. When you visit your own settlements, they get a plus 5 loyalty bonus once per day. So if I had that right now, even having that minus three penalty i would be sitting at a minus three right now however because of parade i would really be at a plus two so if you have the charm perk for loyalty you have the leadership perk for security and you place a decent governor all you really need to do is have a bunch of grain to throw in your town and you don't have a single worry in the world that is why i always tell people at the beginning of the game when you create your character figure out what you're going to do and plan ahead a lot of people do not work steward right away and they pay for it later when they're chasing price of loyalty in my opinion the best perk in the game it takes a while to get there and they have to chase it why because they never took the time early on to work it. So when it comes to charm, it is something I put a lot of points into and also social. So that way I can get those valuable perks in the social tree as quick as possible. If there is anything I missed, please let me know in the comments. And that way I can make sure that other people see it as well. 
So, when it comes down to it, have a good governor. Bring lots of food along that you can dump in there. If possible, throw troops in the garrison. Just be advised, that will take food. Set the correct projects to do to start working on your problem right away. Pump cost into it and hope your governor can help you out. And probably the most important thing that you can shoot for at the beginning of the game, work, charm, and leadership to get those two perks. You get the leadership perk very early on, and you get the charm perk, it might be 225, but you start getting charm at the beginning of the game. And with the new leveling system, it's not that difficult to get 225, especially when you're letting all those people go that you capture in battle. You can gain charm very quickly. I hope this helps you out and lets you to stabilize your game. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.